Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have something a little bit different. I am going to show you how I'm going to upgrade my door wreath. Now at the moment it is already upgraded to a degree. I did this last year so this was a plain green wreath to begin with and I added in these pink flowers. I just feel that I want to change it up a little bit um, and I suppose bulk it out a bit. I do feel that it's a little bit sparse in certain areas. So I got myself down to the range. They have amazing flowers there. And I picked up one of these, which was 1.99. And then I picked up two of these, which were 2.99 each. And I just think they're beautiful colors. Um, and I think the lilac and the pink will just look really, really lovely. So what my plan is, is to purely pull these apart. I think this one's gonna be more tricky than the other because it's got hessian wrapped around it. So my plan is to literally rip these apart, separate them, and then I am going to literally, I think, try and wrap the wire around the back, like support, the actual ring. And it's quite handy actually that these are all made of wire because that's gonna make it a lot, lot easier to actually wrap around. So this one has obviously got quite a large chunk, so I am gonna separate this into three and I'll do the same with the other one. How beautiful is that? I just love it. Such beautiful colours and it just looks really delicate. So that one I might try and leave as it is. such a beautiful day here today. Woke up this morning and the sun is shining. It's just lush. Hence, I'm wearing a summer dress. You would have seen this in my last Primark haul if you've seen that. If not, I will link it below so you can have a look. Right, these are separated now. I don't know whether to leave that one on. We'll leave it on for a minute. That's all the bits and pieces taken off. And now I'm just gonna try and place them around. Um, there are some areas that look a little bit more sparse than others. And I might, some of this, the old pink, well actually yeah, look, that's just come off of my hand. So some of these have come off as well. So I just think it needs a bit of a tidy up and replacing. And I think it's going to look beautiful. So I think I might start off with a bit of greenery first and put that in some areas where I feel it's a bit sparse to kind of like build it out a little bit. Now some of these, so that one's just pushed straight in, others are going to need bending around. I think we'll try and sort out the shape a little bit as well, because some bits kind of go off and other bits are quite flat. So I think I'm gonna dress that as well. So I've got another bit of greenery. Let's see where it's sparse. How many of those have I got? 
I've got a few actually, so I could dot them out. Okay, I think, what have I got? I've got four in total, so I think I'm gonna pop them equally around. This is such a good way of making your own really and doing it on the cheap. So this wreath, I actually bought from TK Maxx and it was in the Christmas sale. So I literally paid, I'm sure it was something ridiculous like a few pounds or it was under five pounds anyway. And then obviously I added the pink to it, which I'm not sure where those came from actually. I tend to only buy my dried flowers from a few places and that's uh, Dunelm, The Range or sometimes Ikea. So it would have come from one of those. Probably, I think the pink may have come from Dunelm actually. And yeah, it means that you can kind of add to it yourself, get a bit creative. Most of the work has been done for you because obviously the, the main base has been put in. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's nice because it's a bit of your own hard work. You've got it looking exactly how you want it. And I think that's quite nice. Even if you're not super arty, I don't think that this is, I don't think it's that difficult. It's, at the moment, I haven't even actually twisted any of the wire around. All I'm doing is just pushing it in. So that's not difficult, is it? Right, I'm going to start off now with a bit of the lilacs. I don't know whether to go in with these first. I think I will maybe have those as a bit of a background. Or should I do that first? No, I think I'm going to go in with these and put these in. Um, so they kind of stick out, a bit of a background. Now with these, the wire is actually a lot thinner. So, I mean, that's gone straight in, straight away. But you could obviously twist these around um, because it obviously is that thinner sort of wire. all I'm doing is literally just placing them in and actually they're just pushing straight in. I'm not really sure where they're going to. So they're not coming out the, the other side. So they're obviously just securing in this kind of like wicker. Got quite a few of these. I don't know, I just thought, I just love that. Bit of lavender, faux lavender. And yeah, I think it's gonna, I can already see, I don't know if you can, but it's already starting to bulk out quite a bit. I do quite like the two tones as well. Can't believe this is just feeding in. I honestly thought that I was gonna have to wrap all of this around the, the main ring, but it's just literally just feeding in. I think it's cause it's that sort of thinner wire I don't know if you can hear my cats or well, my kittens crying upstairs. She does that because she wants to get into a bedroom. And my son leaves his door open, but my daughter, she likes her door shut. But Gracie does not like, um, does not like doors being shut at all. I don't know if it's to do with, um, I, I think it's from when we first got her, she's always kind of needed a secure, safe place. Um, and obviously we've always provided that by um, having our doors open and her being able to dart into a bedroom and normally under a bed actually. And I think she just kind of gets a bit panicky if one of those doors are shut. But I also understand that obviously my daughter wants her privacy 
being 14. So she'll probably give up at some point and go into my son's bedroom, which I don't understand why she's not doing that now. Actually, she came out of my son's bedroom this morning um, and had obviously been sleeping in there because I called her for her food. And yeah, she came out straight away. So I don't know why she's not going back in there. Maybe um, she wants a change of scenery. I'm actually really shocked at how well these, or oh, actually that one's come through the other end, I can feel it. But actually there are a few poking through, but what I'll do afterwards is turn it round and then refeed it back in. Oh, this is looking so pretty. Right, where do I need another one? Kind of feel around here. Maybe. Gracie! Gracie? If she comes down, I'll show her to you. She's grown. Well, I I don't really think that she's grown that much, to be honest with you, but um, my husband seems to think that she's grown quite a lot, but I suppose you just don't always see it, do you? Right, let's try poking another one in here. Cats everywhere. Actually, I feel like we need something there. Okay, let me show you so far. This has bulked out quite a little, quite a lot actually. We definitely need to reposition some of these, but it might kind of like all fall into place when I start adding the bigger flowers. Um, on the back, at the moment we've only got a couple sticking out. So all I'm gonna do is bend that wire and tuck it back through, just so it's neat. And it's got more chance of staying in. Right, let's go in with some of these beautiful shade flowers now. Don't know whether these are gonna push in as well because they're a lot thicker branch. But we'll see, that gone through, yeah. So I've just bent the end and pushed it back through so it almost forms like a hook and hopefully will stay in. one's just gone straight through. The thinner wire ones are a lot easier to work with. It's so literally just push in. I don't know why, but all of these kind of, I don't know, I think these colors as well reminds me of my gran, she, I think I'm going to separate that. She loved bluebells, and I know I'm not using bluebells, but it's similar colours, and she just absolutely loved bluebells. These are actually fantastic. They are definitely adding a little bit of depth which is what I wanted really. I feel bad because you can't actually see most of what I'm doing, but I think it'd be really, well, I can try. I think it's gonna be really tricky me doing it that way. Okay, that one's come out through the other side, but that is quite a thick one. So again, I've just bent it side I don't know if you can see, but I fed it back through. Where is my original hook? Okay, let's have a look. I think we need something in there. It's 
looking quite sparse in that section. I just love doing things like this. So it just feels like no real effort. It's just literally just sticking these through. I'm struggling to get this one in. Oh. Okay. Right, that has filled that little gap a little bit. I think I'm gonna go in with one, a smaller one up there. Okay, let's have a look so far. So you can see it's a lot more bulked out now. We've got lots of both different colors. It looks so sort of spring summery. Absolutely love it. Right, I think we need some more lilac up here. Push one of those through. I could probably, to be honest with you, go back to the range and pick up some more of these and add even more. I don't know why, I just, I've got this vision of having like a really, really big wreath. And yeah, it's bulked out quite a lot, but I think I might actually add to this. sure where that one's gone through. Oh, it's actually snapped off. I might make it better now. Actually, that's made it a lot easier for that to go through. So, maybe a bit of bulk can I actually at the top. Oh, these are a really good price as well, actually. Funny story. So, I originally bought a wreath, no, a garland, that's it. Bought a garland from the range. It had all of these colors attached to it. Um, so I was literally just gonna pull the garland to pieces. And my husband went off to work and locked our cat in our living room. Now, we've shut the living room door ever since we've had our new sofas because we obviously don't particularly want them getting in there, um, trashing the sofas, etc., etc., or wet, muddy pools because the amount of rain that we've had recently. And yeah, my husband didn't realize that he'd actually locked the cat in the room. Now there are pluses and minuses to this. You can probably see where this is going. But I had bought this garland. It was still in a bag ready to do this video for you. All kind of wrapped up. And I'd also bought um, a couple of sprigs of this lavender. Got home engulfed with a smell of cat poo. Um, I was then on a mission to find out where the cat poo was. Um, and the cat, I mean, love him. I do feel sorry for him because it must have been a horrible feeling because if you need to go, you need to go. Um, excuse me. It is hay fever season and mine has kicked in. Sorry, um, yeah, he had taken a giant poo because this cat is huge. Um, so obviously his poo's gonna be big. <laughs> um, he'd taken a giant poo in the range bag that had my garland and all the faux flowers. So that was probably nearly 15 pounds worth. Was I impressed? No. But was I glad that the cat hadn't pooed 
on our carpet, sofas, whatever. Yes, so I just had to let it go. So yeah, I had another trip to the range to go and buy more, but this time I didn't buy the garland. I don't really know why, to be honest with you. I just saw these bunches with these in and I just really liked it. So I thought I'd go for that, maybe. <laughs> Maybe the garland had bad memories and I didn't want that reoccurring again. So yes, that was a funny story. Um, and it wasn't particularly nice coming home and smelling that either. It was literally filled our house. It was disgusting. So yes, funny story to make in this garland. <laughs> But never mind, these things happen and I am just thankful that we didn't have a giant cat poo on our sofas or our carpet because all I had to do was pick up the bag and throw it out. And was I about to attempt to clean it up? No, I was not. So maybe if it had been something else, yes but it's not even worth thinking about it. It would have got everywhere. Right, I'm just having a look at the oval shape now. These ones are sticking out a little bit. Okay, how are we looking? Can't even find the hanger now. So it's definitely filled out a bit more. Just looking. I feel like it could do with a little bit more around here. I might have to start hanging it from the actual wicker. But yeah, I think it looks a bit better. I think I probably will go back. I do feel it needs a little bit more here. Let me know what you think. I really like that. I think that looks really lovely and it's bobbed out more. I've got more colour packed in there. To be honest with you, I could probably even choose like to add different colours to it as well. But I do quite like that. But yeah, I definitely think I'm going to add to this. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this video and upgrading uh, a wreath. Definitely let me know in the comments if you've done anything like this before or you're going to have a go yourself. I really hope you enjoyed my funny story. But yeah. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.